Good morning everyone. Welcome to the first video of 2024. I know it's a little bit late but then again would it be one of my videos if it wasn't. So quick update. We had an absolute ripper of a holiday season in 2023. You'll notice that my videos also sort of tapered out at about that time and uh, and that's mainly because I just could not keep up with uh, the holiday season. Thereafter, there was a surprise trip back to see extended family in India. So that's where I am at the moment. So if this looks a little different, this is my room in the resort we're in. The lighting isn't great, but I'm going to make do. So we decided to spend Christmas with extended family and now that the new year's here i figured it was the perfect time to pick up the camera and do a little filming for you those of you who are new here welcome those of you who've been here before welcome back my name is trisha and i'm the owner of golden wattle designs we are a sydney-based small business that specializes in hair accessories and uh, this is my little spot on the world wide web so thank you for being here so for the first video i thought it would be a good idea to do a sort of a year in review of 2023 and uh, that would be a good point for me to look back once 2024 is done with so i've made a few notes and uh, if you see me looking down that's what i'm referring to so 2023 uh, yeah. It was a new experience it was the first this was the first actual full year that i was going to do markets weekend markets and such on a regular basis so just to give you a brief idea of what that means in the year 2022 i started getting back into markets only later on in the year so just before christmas and i did about i did four markets actually i did three markets one was a two-day event and the others were just one day markets um it was it was a brilliant learning experience for me i got to meet so many wonderful customers and hear from them get feedback watch everyone pick up my products and watch their reactions to it and it it was an awesome experience and i was absolutely hooked I knew that that's something that I wanted to continue doing just to be able to interact with the people that use my products that part was priceless so from 2022 when we moved to 2023 that was a huge year in 2023 I did a total of 24 sorry hold on we did a total of 35 markets now I know that might not be big for some other businesses but for me personally that was huge um, I did take some time off due to a family emergency in the middle of the year but other than that I'm pretty happy with that number which means that most weekends I was at a market and my gorgeous husband that this wouldn't be possible that now this would be possible without him he came along to every single one of them and helped out he does a lot of uh, he does a lot of work behind the scenes as well he uh, I just wouldn't be where I am without the support that I have from him. So 35 markets, yeah, that was huge. It was a lot of time spent on the road, getting to and from, setting up, breaking down. You've seen some of our market uh, vlogs and videos. So in the year 24, will I be doing as many markets? I'm not 100% sure. I knew that 2023 was a big one for me and I really wanted to get out there and uh, put my name out there and that's one of the reasons I really really wanted to focus on doing markets some of them are my regular ones some of them were brand new and there was a lot of learnings for me as a small business owner I'll probably do a separate video on the whole markets aspect of things and how that's worked out for me what I've learned from it and such if you're interested in that kind of content I've already filmed and uploaded one video where I share uh, market tips and such I'll link that video for you here so that you can check it out once this one's done but yes I've learned a lot I've learned that not all markets are equal even the same market can be so different on different days if you're a new business or someone that's just started getting into markets treat every single one as a learning experience because sometimes 
it just takes it takes showing up a few times to the same event before you start getting recognized before customers start noticing you and such so that's something that I've also learned from the last full year of doing markets um, yeah so like I was saying would I be doing the same amount of markets in 24 I'm not a hundred percent sure yet but I know that there's a few regular markets that I'm going to continue to do because we absolutely love those spots there are some that were more infrequent one-off kind of events some of them 100% I'm not going back to I've shared that in individual vlogs in the past so you know which ones I'm talking about but yeah the ones that I'm going to continue doing I will update you and we'll talk about that in a bit the next thing I want to talk about is some of the products that we released in 23 um, of course with the focus mainly being on hair accessories most of it being handmade we trialed and we put out a few new products some of it absolutely went down a treat so we came out with different types of scrunchies initially it was mostly the patterned ones and very very few satin scrunchies in the regular size because satin scrunchies are so popular and I finally managed to get my hands on some gorgeous colors in satin we went ahead and we expanded that satin range so now I have a whole display that I take to markets one whole display is just my satin scrunchies in a range of colors I've got multiple sizes in them now we've got the regular size we've got the extra large and we've got the little skinnies as well I have been approached and a lot of people have asked me to do the minis if that is something that you're interested in as well leave me a comment down below I will consider doing them in 24 so that was it lots of new colors and in satins we also released a small amount of towel scrunchies and um, lace scrunchies now lace scrunchies are something that I haven't yet listed on my online shop and as soon as I get back home to Sydney that's probably something I will look at doing um, what else did we do we worked on market displays so we managed to put together at home made from scratch 100% between my husband and I we managed to put up a massive display for uh, our scrunchies as well as most of the work and credit credit goes to my husband for this one he put together that brilliant stand that I use for my wire headbands so those are a couple of things that we managed to get done my display has changed so much over the last year and if I were to compare what it was in 22 to what it is right now I'll see if I can get a little footage or at least some photos and show you a side-by-side -side comparison of what they look like those are little achievements that we that came our way in 23 another massive one for me is you guys my YouTube channel my YouTube family it's been it's been an absolute ride I know my channel is still very very new and very very small compared to some of the larger ones out there but I do this because I enjoy touching base with you I enjoy giving you glimpses of what my work life looks like what life in the studio looks like what life at the markets is like if there's anything in particular that you'd like me to film you know you can always request for that by leaving a comment uh, below the video and um, I'll do my best to put that up so that's another thing that I've done in 2023 that I'm super super proud of thank you so much for being part of the journey now what does 24 what does the year 2024 have in store for golden wattle designs I have done a very very broad goal setting I haven't yet sat down and done that bit yet but these are my areas of focus one I've got plans for a bunch of new products and I'm really really excited to share them with you that won't be done today but in the upcoming months as I'm ready to release them and list them online take them to markets I will share those with you I my big push for 2024 is going to be my online presence so the biggest focus for me is going to be growing my social media for one I have tried to put out a lot of content on Instagram however consistency is where I'm not something I've not always been great at with the business and that's a huge goal for me for 2024 I'm 
aiming to be a little more consistent with my social media posts with my youtube videos so you can ex so you can expect to see a few more videos in um, the next few weeks and as the year progresses so 2024 apart from social media is also going to be focused on growing my website in the last part of 2023 i actually started work on my website however the holiday season got the best of me it was manic guys so when i say i did not have the time i didn't know what i was getting hit with markets were super busy and i just could not keep up with the stock levels um i actually had to buy a new machine you've probably seen that video as well either in long or short form i picked up a new brother sewing machine i am super super happy with that purchase it's been an absolute dream to work with easily best decision ever so i know now i now know after doing one full holiday season at the markets i think i now know what to expect for the coming year and as seasons go by it was a great learning experience and i know that something that's worked well for me in the past is being prepared being prepared like way 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 in advance start your prep if you're a small business owner and you struggle to keep up like me start your prep earlier than you think you need to that's something that i'm going to do this year so yeah another big one for me for the year 2024 is going to be working on launching that website and um, working out a launch schedule for my new releases and products that's something that i worked on consciously last year and it's helped me out and it's something that i've already put together for this year as well i've shared this with you in the past but i have a little schedule of launches that i want to do through the year so i roughly put down the month and the week and that sort of gives me an idea of the number of releases i need to do during the year and that's something i've already done for the year so i know this one i know 2024 is going to be super busy as well i'm i'm really excited for the, what the year holds and i'm really excited to continue sharing this journey with you as well i'm going to end this video right here thank you so much for joining me today as we looked back at 2023 and as we look forward to what the new year holds for us it's been a blast recording this video after a long break again once again thank you guys for watching if you haven't done so already don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, i'll see you really soon in the next video so till then take care bye bye